What to do YouTube, as you see by the thumbnail. Boom, your boy got him a cheap little timing light from Harbor Freight. Um, let's see, it's got a little, oh, it's got the little degree thing on the back. Mm. Yeah, let's see if I can figure this out. I watched a couple of videos. We're gonna see what happens. All right, so I've seen a lot of videos. Um, people saying you have to let, let the engine get up to temperature, so on and so forth. Um, so I'm gonna just get the initial start up right quick. And this is the first time I started the engine this morning. So cold start, I guess. Um, and I'm gonna let it run for a little bit, see what it does. I'm actually wanting to take it down the road to see if it'll cut off. But before I do that, I wanna see what this timing is talking about. Um, while the engine is warming up, I'll probably look at another YouTube video just to see, um, get some more details before I dive into this because I really don't know what I'm doing. But let's see if she start up. I got faith in my baby. Dang, don't got the key. I thought the key would be in here. Damn, I'm gonna go, go grab the key. As y'all seen, man, the previous video, I did the little alternator situation. Um, I haven't had to use the jump box, so that's good. Um, shout out to bro who commented that that tip on uh, taking this, the post off the battery and then if the alternator is charging and the car stay running. I didn't do that, but... Um, I'll do it one day, man. No jump box. Jump box right here. My old pressure is always, it'll start high. And then it'll idle down. Yesterday, I was driving it around. It went down to like 25, but it was still running. So I don't know. It's on the rough right now. I'm gonna just let it figure itself out, I guess. Gas. So weird, bro. I did adjust the carb screws yesterday, so I don't know if that's the issue because of the cold start or what, but let's try this again. adjusting the screws again on this carburetor i really feel like this is the issue of the carburetor because it only kills when i kick gas but let's see if it's gonna start up cut right out weird as shit but anyway i got this on the number one that's what it says right there number one spark plug now I got this light, but the damn bitch won't stay running long enough for me to even test the bitch. So, but regardless, we're going to get it done. I ended up setting this at zero. Not trying to advance at all right now. Um, but whenever the car stays running, we'll 
Test it out. Come on, car. Yeah, bro, I gotta do some more research because this bitch. I can hear it. I guess. Sounding like it's one of if I can do some shit, but. I don't know, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing. Give me a second. I'll figure it out. All right, y'all. I'm gonna try this again, but this time I'm disconnecting the vacuum advance line. And I don't even think the car gonna start with this disconnected, but let's see. So the whole time I'm sitting here trying to time it, uh, it didn't turn off, which is good. And it twisting this distributor this way made it run a little bit better. Um, but my light was not catching the joint. Like it wasn't catching the little line. So I can't, I don't really know where I am right now as far as uh, how close I am to top dead center. But like I was saying, I don't know if y'all heard me over the engine, but the tick, when it was flashing the first time, the tick was like almost on the damn top of the, the harmonic balance. I'm like, yo, I'm, that's either, that's way, way, way advanced. So, though it's not uh, showing on the light, I think I'm, I'm closer to where I want to be because it's it, like the engine is sounding better, it's running better. Um, I'm going to see if it start back with this. Oh, nah. You see that? It's got to be out of time. Because that joint didn't even hit. So my spark... Let me twist that bit back. Let's start with the 
Dakota County. I feel like that distributor is just, I could be a couple teeth off though. Bitch probably way out of time right now. think it's gonna hit right here see oh man i don't know what to do right now so it's running better with the advance oh i didn't even have the fucking vacuum advance shit plugged up hmm wonder does that make a difference uh so i fiddle with the timing a little bit oil pressure is at 20 after it done warmed up, it's been running for a minute. We'll see. Let's see if it cut off. Kill right then. It's got to be something with the gas. I'm just rolling in the middle of the road right now. It's a neutral. It's just fucking Tommy. This is the part they don't show, y'all. <laughs> nah, I'm good, man. Appreciate it. You're trying to figure it out. <laughs> Appreciate that guy for asking. I need a hand. Low key, I do. Let's see if this is the start. insurance on it but I ain't got no plates no I think I got my license on me let's see if it's going through the gears
home, baby. Get me back home. See with that five percent tint. Second gear. Third gear. back home let's get it all my ls parts right there didn't got exposed Woo. all right man Whew. temp got up to 200 uh so i mean i might need to upgrade my fans or something or get another uh water temp sensor i think yo this this belt yeah, 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 yeah for sure look at this belt something shaving what is shaving <sighs> well if my belt ain't doing what it's supposed to do then the water pump not moving right am i thinking about that right y'all I wonder is this belt too wide? For sure, it's throwing, it's, it's getting peeled off somewhere. Dang, man, I knew he didn't give me the right belt. Dang, another thing to worry about. But hey, we made it home, man. Ah, I'm proud of this thing. 